Hello and welcome to another DJI Neo drone video. Now today I'm going to just do two little things. It's only going to be a short video. Today I want to talk about the selector switch here in the middle of the controller and also the new update for the DJI Fly app itself. Now the first bit that I mentioned is to do with this little slider switch for the cinematic, normal and sports mode. Now for example if you're flying cinematic shots and you've got it all the way to C for cinematic, uh, you've done your flying for the day, you've shut everything off and then you've gone home, then the very next day you've started everything up again. Regardless of where the slider switch is, it will always default on the normal mode. Um, so if you're on sports mode and you start flying it, you wonder why it's a bit slow or you're in cinematic and wonder why it's a bit fast. That's the reason why it will always default on that. What I tend to do is, because I do a lot of cinematic stuff, I do like to have a lot of slow shots, so sometimes it is in the C position. What I tend to do is, once I've got the drone up, I flip it over to S for sports, then back over for C to know that it's definitely going to be in cinematic, so when I start recording, it's going to go off slow as intended. Um, so someone just mentioned that in the previous video, and I thought I'd address that, just in case people didn't know that the DJI Fly up and the controller default every time you turn it on, to normal mode. Now the next bit I want to talk about is in regards to the new DJI Fly app update which is version 1.16.4. Now if you've got your mobile phone connected to your controller um, you go into your, your settings go and look at I think it's about where it tells you about your firmware and your hardware and, everything, and your software go in there click upgrade or update and it should update there to update your fly app from 1.16.0 to the 1.16.4. If for some reason you click on it and it says it's already up to date and it's still saying 1.16.0, the best thing to do is go onto your mobile phone, go to the DJI download um, page on their website, download the app again, and what happens is when you install that, it'll say upgrade, click upgrade, and it'll upgrade it to 1.16.4. And what that does is it basically fixes a few little bugs, but it also puts the return to home feature a little easier on the app itself. Rather than having to go into settings, then go into sort of uh, uh, the first little section, the safety, I think it is, update um, the home place, click on that and then mess around with there. What happens is when you click on the little icon to, to sort of set it off to fly, uh, once it's up, you click on that again, it'll have a round circle saying land, another one saying return to home, and then under, underneath that it'll say update home point. So it just makes it a lot easier just to click that, click update home point, figure where you need to sort of put it, update it and you're done. It's just a lot quicker than faffing around doing loads of different settings. Now, I have an issue which hopefully you sensible and intelligent people will be able to help me with, is um, when I tried to do this before, I flew from this point here right over the other side of the field. When I got to the other side of the field, I was using the map to try and figure out whereabouts I was, updated it that way. Someone said you can either click aircraft to sort of link it to the uh, drone itself, or you can click controller and it'll link it to where the controller is. Now, the last time I did this, I uh, clicked um, controller and an error came up. I can't remember for the life of me what it is, but every time I clicked it, it wouldn't update. It kept saying this error. So hopefully you good people out there that know this sort of stuff will be able to help me out. It may have fixed it with the update. I do not know. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get the drone up, get it flown over to the other side of this field and we'll see if we can get everything updated and um, yeah, and figure out if I can uh, link it with the controller. So it's just a case of clicking, update home point, controller, done, and then that's done. So I'll see you in a minute when we've got the drone up in the sky. Right, okay, so now I've got the drone up in the air. I'm gonna take, I've got the home point updated here. Uh, so we're gonna go to the far end of the field and then we're gonna hopefully try and get this to land over there to brand new home point and see if I can get the controller button working. Uh, so let's check that out, let's go, come on. Right, so I'm trying to get it up to a certain height so I can put it on cruise control so I can just like fly it as I'm walking. So hopefully it's quite high in the sky, but 25.
So as you can see there, I'm nearly at 45 meters. That should be enough to actually clean trees. Push it forward and cruise control. Off it goes. And yeah, let's go down the other end. Hopefully it won't crash. Right, so I'm just trying to turn this round so it's not going to end up in somebody's back garden. So yeah, that's the great thing about when it comes to this, uh, the control and the drone. Um, you don't have to sort of stress too much in regards to getting it going in a straight line. You don't have to keep your finger on it. You can just get, the, get it up to a certain speed, click your function button for your cruise control, and then you can just get it flowing along. It's going along on uh, cinematic mode, so it's quite slow. So obviously we're, we're walking quite slow as well, um, but obviously that's just taking its time getting to the uh, other end of the field. So I don't really have to watch it too much because it's going really, really slowly. But yeah, we'll be over this uh, next field shortly. And then when we get over there, hopefully we can sort of log onto this and um, bring it down into a new home point. And I can click on either aircraft or controller to hopefully try and link it up with either the drone or the controller itself. But yeah, when I get over there, when I push the controller, hopefully I'll bring up the error message I mentioned before, and then um, hopefully people out there can let me know exactly why it does that. Because uh, it'd be a lot better to just to be update home point, click on controller where I am, and then it's done rather than have to mess around trying to like drag the map to try and figure out roughly where I am in this particular area, and then, uh, yeah, updated that way. Right, so it's going in a very random direction. So I'm gonna bring it back over here. But yeah, it, the GoPro won't do justice. See, obviously, if, if my son angled it up there, you won't be able to see it. It's, it's very, very small at the moment. Uh, so yes, there's no point. I've tried doing it before. I've tried filming it when it's up that height and you just can't see it whatsoever. So at the moment it's on 62% battery, as you can see on the screen now. But that's because it's, it's not that windy. I don't know what the wind speed is up there. It's probably about four mile an hour, something like that. But down here, you can feel there's sort of a breeze, but it's not that strong. Um, not, well, it's hardly a breeze at all. So it means that the actual Propellers I'm going to have to work over time to fight any wind and stabilise. I'm just keeping an eye on it. It's nowhere near where we need to be yet. I'll angle down on the, uh, the gimbal so you can sort of have a, a better look at exactly where we are. Take, get rid of that sky and see the land. So we're busy heading over in this direction. I'll just turn it around a little bit. So you can see in the distance there, there's like a clump of trees. We're not too far away from that at the moment, which is just over in that direction. And the drone is just right up, right up there at the moment. So as you can see on the screen now, there's a clump of trees. And then just after that is where we're gonna get this uh, updated and hopefully bring it down to a new, home point so that's the thing with these things you've just got to do these things as many times as you can just to get a better understanding of them and just just so you, you're not messing around each time you know exactly what you're doing you're clicking your home point you click an update you find your new place or your controller or your aircraft clicking that and then you can get back on with whatever you're doing whereas the previous one as you might have seen in the previous home point video I took it all the way over here and then um, it didn't update. Uh, I was trying to get it to update on the map and it was just having loads of issues. It wasn't when I was clicking control the error was coming up. So that was just not happening. So it took a lot, a lot of effort to try and get everything sorted. And by the time I'd flown from all the way down there to all the way to the new place, uh, the battery on the drone had, was flat. I had to change that over and then I had to faff about with syncing everything up back again. But yeah, it's still right above our heads at the moment. So we're actually walking a little bit faster than it is. 
but it's miles in the sky. It's not going to touch any trees. It's not going to hit anybody unless there are uh, 46 meters in height. The BFG. But, oh, there's a squirrel. Probably won't see it on the GoPro, but yeah, there's lots of uh, lots of things around here. Squirrels and different birds. There was an, another bird over here. That I think it flew over here before. I can't remember the name of it. Right, okay, so we'll cancel um, the aircraft. Make sure it's there, right, it's up in the air at the moment. Right, so, it's time to get it down. Right, okay, so, it is in the air at the moment. I'm just bringing it down a little bit so I can sort of see exactly whereabouts it is. But for the purpose of uh, the GoPro, which you can't see, it's probably like a man, you're like looking at an insect about a mile away. But it's right there, exactly 44 meters in height, as you can see on the screen now. So what I do now is with that update, the 1.16.4, you click on the little home point icon here. You've got land, which will make it just land directly where it is. You've got return to home, which we don't want to do because it's going to fly all the way back over there to where we started. But as you can see underneath that is update home point. So we click update home point. Now you can see exactly where the actual um, home point is on there. The actual drone is here, but we'll see if I can get it to do that error again. So in order to link it with the controller of the new home point, I click controller. And it's not doing anything. Yep. Ah, the home point updated to current remote control location. Now we didn't do it last time, so it must have been an issue with uh, 1.16.0 uh, software, but now it's linked with the uh, controller. So okay that. It should then, there we go. Home point updated, excellent, it's worked this time. So now it's up there and hopefully in the next, well, I'll get it to land now, shall I? Right, okay, so I brought it back up. So you've got land, return to home, update home point. So we've updated the home point to the controller itself. Now I'm gonna push return to home. Now it's returned to home, as you can see. So it brings itself central, camera central, and it's probably gonna land in the tree. Will it land in the tree? Let's see. Over here. Oh, is it going to hit the tree? Oh, that was close. That was close. But there it is, ladies and gentlemen. Don't know if you can see on the camera there. There it is, landing. There we go. So it has landed, which is great. Um, that error before it said something about um, something about the signal or um, I can't remember, connectivity or something like that. I'll have to search on Google to see if anybody else has had the issue. But before, when I pushed controller, there was an error. It just didn't want to do it. I think I pushed aircraft. And I think something similar happened. So I had to get on the map and I had to kind of scroll along to where I was or where the drone was, pick a certain area, which was sort of I think it was over there somewhere and it landed but it didn't land exactly where i wanted it to but th thankfully i've managed to update the uh, the home point it's gone from all the way from there 200 meters or so and i've managed to land it right here so it's landed pretty much where i was stood which is excellent i had to maneuver it back a little bit otherwise it would have landed right where i'm stood uh, but right above me there are trees and um, it looked like it was about to land on the top of that and that would just be a nightmare of a video where you just watch me go no no oh it's landing in a tree but yeah so that's worked out perfect so now i can get on here i can start my little journey if i'm going out for long walks i can start it at point a and then travel to point b update it as i'm going along 
So that means that my drone will get a little bit of extra battery power because it's not having to fly all the way back to the start. I can just bring it close to me every single time and just get that little bit extra footage that I need. Anyway, that was just a short video in regards to the um, cinematic, normal and sports mode when you're starting the drone and the controller and also updating to the 1.16.4 software for the DJI Fly app. Um, if you're um, interested in these videos and you like the videos, click the like button, uh, comment and let us know how you are getting on with the DJI Neo or any drone you've got yourself. If you've got a drone channel, drop your channel down in the, the uh, descript uh, description, the comments, and uh, let us know what your uh, URL is so I can check those out. I've seen a couple of your videos that have, people have sort of said that they've got a channel, I've checked them out and they're awesome, but I'd love to see more. If you haven't subscribed, please click that subscribe button. It does wonders for my channel. It pushes everything out there. Obviously, the more people view, the more revenue I get and I can get out and do more and potentially could buy a brand new drone so I could do a lot more crazy things and maybe even start giving giveaways to you awesome people that are watching. Anyway, hope you're well. Hope you're enjoying the beautiful sunny weather and uh, hope it may continue. Take care of yourself and I'll see you in the next one. So bye-bye. Thank you.